Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Little Rose, and we are here to talk about how to organize a large collection of art supplies. How do you keep them under control? How do you make it so that you can access them quickly when you want them? Those are the kinds of questions we're going to answer in this video today, specifically about my color pencil collection. How do I manage such a huge collection? I'm so excited to share this with you, but before I do, I need to tell you about our fantastic giveaway that we're doing here at Coloring Bliss. Now this giveaway ends July 17th, 2024. So hopefully you're watching this video in time to get your entries in because we are giving away the beautiful Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil full set in the wooden box. I'm going to have some footage put up right now on the screen uh, to show you this beautiful gift. It's such a stunning set of pencils and I can't wait for one of you to win. Now, in addition to that set of pencils, we are including this book right here. This is the Tritone Workbook, brand specific for Faber-Castell Polychromos, and it will help you find Tritones so that you can make blending really easy and it will help you pick color schemes. This book is the ultimate companion to that ultimate set of Polychromos pencils. So follow the link in the video description. Make sure that you check out all of our scam alerts, which are coming up on the screen right now so that you don't get scammed. I just want everyone to have fun and I wanna give away this beautiful set of pencils. Let's now talk about how I organize my color pencil collection. All right, I need to give you a disclaimer of why my color pencil collection is so big because I don't want you to feel like you need this many color pencils. I mean, I have so many color pencils, there's no way that I could use them in my lifetime. But they are my passion and I love to collect them. I, I feel like it's a beautiful um, hobby just in itself, just collecting color pencils. So first off, one reason why my collection is so big is because I do color pencil reviews for a living here on this channel. You guys are always asking about different and new brands and so I'm always bringing them in so that I can advise you as to which ones are the best value, which ones are the best in performance. It's part of my job. So um, I'm pretty lucky that that's part of my job. Thank you everyone here in this community for making that possible. Now, I've been doing this for over 10 years. I've been collecting color pencils, reviewing them, using them, teaching how to use them for over 10 years, and that's another reason why my collection is so big. So the third and final reason why my collection is so big is because I suffer from FSS. <laughs> If you've never heard of FSS before, it's called Full Set Syndrome, and it's a syndrome that I coined the name of many years ago because of that urge that you have to complete a set of something. Now, it could be a set of anything. It could be a set of mugs. It could be a set of toys that are like Star Wars. It doesn't really matter. It It's this urge to collect and have the full set, FSS. And because I suffer from that and my husband husband, who is my business partner here at Coloring Bliss, also suffers from that. I am very prone to making sure I have the full set of almost every kind of color pencil. So that's how my beautiful collection has grown so quickly. Not to mention the fact that recently we did a video here on our channel where we wanted to review all the top Amazon cheap color pencils and that really made my collection really grow fast over this last few months. So it became necessary for me to address the uh, the way I organize my pencils. And I organize my pencils in sort of four levels. The first level is I want all my pencils in one location where they are easy to grab, sort of the idea of a place for everything and everything in its place. And that place where I was keeping my collection was out of control. Let me show you a picture. I've got it loaded up here of that corner of my art studio. You can see it's just piled with boxes 
everything is in chaos, different categories are all in one place. It was not working for me at all and it was time to change. If you see back in the very back corner there's a brown bookshelf and that's where the color pencil collection lives. But it was buried by boxes and I couldn't access it quickly. It was time to fix the problem. So the first thing I did was I pulled a whole bunch of boxes out cleared out a space and got ready for a new shelf and this is a shelf that silver shelf there in the corner that I purchased from Costco it's like a trinity shelf I think it was really quite inexpensive less than $200 for that shelf and I was able to almost assemble it myself I had to have a little help but once I got it assembled and put into place all of a sudden I had so much more space so a lot of the empty boxes went away and and the full boxes all now had a place on that Trinity shelf back in the corner. And I was able to start pulling out the whole color pencil collection and start putting them back onto that wooden bookshelf there, which is where they're going to be living for the next while. So I started working through the process of cataloging. We're going to talk about how I catalog all my pencils and getting them all onto the shelves. There's the next photo showing how the progress made it along the way as I filled in this, those shelves with the sets. And finally, this is what that corner looks like today. Um, on the Trinity shelf in the back corner, there's about six boxes of supplies that I pulled out and have tagged for selling or donating. So I'm so excited once I get rid of those six boxes that Trinity shelf is going to be practically empty and I'll be able to organize more of my art studio into that area. So I felt really good about how I got that corner under control for that first level of organizing, which is creating a place for everything, and everything now can be in its place. So the second level was I wanted to store by brand. So let me give you a close-up video of how I got that second level organized. So the first step, once we've got them all in place, a nice uh, space where they have a place to live, is to organize them by brand. That's the way I prefer them, as by brand and by purpose. So for instance, purpose-wise, right here we have a tub full of pastels and miscellaneous type pencils. And in this tub I have metallic color pencils. And on the very bottom row of the bookcase, I have all of my water soluble pencils all down there ready to be grabbed and used. I find this very easy for me to have them all organized by brand because if someone, for instance, wants me to talk about Prismacolor color erase pencils, I can come straight to the Prismacolor tub and inside this tub are the color erase pencils. They're really quick and easy to find where if I had them all mixed in and all the different brands mixed together, I wouldn't be able to answer questions as quickly and efficiently as I can this way. So when I reorganized this room, as you saw the pictures, one of the things I did was to catalog every single one of these pencils. So I want to show you how that cataloging works. Oh, and also while we're here, let me show you how I have a box right here for empty tins because a lot of these sets I have pulled out into cases. For instance, this is my Prismacolor collection, my Holbein, and I have tags on a bunch of them. Not all of them yet. I'm still working on tagging all of the cases, but a lot of them are tagged so it's really easy to just find and grab those pencils and get working with them. Now to catalog these pencils, every single pencil has been cataloged. I did this in the app called Numbers. It's a great app that I can access either on my iPhone or on my iPad, or Steve can access it on his Apple computer as well. So it's a perfect place for me to organize them. So I inputted on every single one of these um, sets of pencils I put in the brand. So for instance, Amazon Basics, the line, it's called Premium Colored Pencils, the origin or what country it came from, how many pencils are in that case, 
and what kind of case it has. So this one's in a tin. And then I put a tick over here, whether it was a standard set of color pencils, a water soluble, metallic, pastel, or other. So I could keep track of how many sets of water soluble pencils I have, for instance. So everything was cataloged, and I have four pages of cataloging, and then at the very end I can see my tallies. So the total, I have a total number of color pencils of 7,826 color pencils. <laughs> that blows my mind. And when you break that down, I have 125 sets of standard colored pencils. 125 and then I have 31 water water soluble type pencils 18 metallic type pencils and 11 pastel or other type of color pencil sets that just is so amazing to me to see all those numbers and now I can quickly look at this list and see if I own a certain set so for instance if someone asks me will you please do a video about the Tombow Erogeton pencils I can look them up and see in my catalog here if I own them and if I do which ones do I own so I can come to the Tombow section and I can see that I have one, two, three different Erogeton sets, some recycled Tombow pencils, and some mini color pencils all by Tombow. And I can see how many I have, what kind of storage device they're in right now. I've got it all right here. And then if I do decide to order more of those pencils, I know what I need to order because it's all cataloged and I won't duplicate my purchases. It's so helpful and it's kind of the difference between hoarding something and collecting something. A collection is curated, it's taken care of, it's accessible, all those good things. Where a hoarded collection is just a big pile of nonsense that you can't hardly get to and you don't really know what you own. So in my mind, I am a curator, I am not a hoarder. <laughs> That's how I look at it. So. That's the storing by brand. So we have them organized by location and then by brand on the shelves. And then when I have a brand that I really love, I put them into cases. So for instance, let's talk about the Prismacolor brand. I've got my main Prismacolor Premier pencils here in these two cases. I have extras here, so duplicate pencils. And then this is the full set all organized. So let's pull this one down and I'll show you how I have them organized. Okay, so the third tier is to put them into cases or sometimes I leave them in the packaging that they're in. And if I leave them in the packaging, sometimes I organize the pencils inside there, but not always. But if they go into a case, then yes, they always get organized by pencil. And let me show you what that looks like for this particular set. So this is sort of the fourth level of organizing is once they're in a case, now we can do even more with them. And I love this case because it's so big. I can spread out and have blank areas if I want to where I can put pencils I'm coloring with currently. Or for instance, for the, the Prismic colors, we can organize them by color tritone. So there's a light, medium, and dark yellow pencil. There's a light, medium, and dark yellow, yellow, green pencil, or yeah, this is the yellow, yellow, green. This is the green, yellow, green alternative. This all corresponds with a book that I have made that is like the ultimate Prismacolor collection book that helps you get your pencils into this kind of order. I'm going to make permanent tags for these one of these days, but for now, these little handwritten tags are working really well. And then the rest of the pencils, because I don't just use the, the tritone pencils, I have all the rest of the pencils in order by the color wheel. So it starts in yellows and it gets warmer into the oranges and yellow oranges, and then into the reds and red violets, more red violets, and into the violets, and into the blues and the blue greens. Oh, they're so pretty the greens and then the yellow greens and then if you flip over here we have the different grays we have the French grays warm grays cool grays the metallics and black and white 
So I can easily access any color really fast between the way this is organized by pencil and that book that I was telling you about. Let me show you the book real quick. This is the Prismacolor Bliss Companion Guide to the 150 set of Prismacolor Premier Color Pencils. It's an awesome resource. I worked really hard on this book gives you coloring pages, swatch charts, everything you need to get your Prismacolors in a good organization. Now we have books for a lot of different brands that will help organize your pencils or maybe it's your markers you're trying to organize. We have all kinds of resources here to help you get organized. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organize my pencils in four different levels. One, a place for the whole collection so that it's easily accessible. Two, by brand so that I can find the pencils I'm looking for quickly. Three, the most important and most used pencils and most loved are put into cases. And four, inside those cases, the pencils are organized by the artist color wheel and into tritones so that I can find color blends quickly and not waste time being confused by a big set of 150 pencils and what am I going to do with all of them. So if you would like to see more videos like this on how I organize my art studio, please comment below. Maybe there's an art supply you're having trouble organizing and maybe I already have a solution here in this awesome room where I am so lucky that I get to work every day. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Make sure you subscribe and good luck with the giveaway. Follow the links in the video description. I don't want anyone to miss out on this giveaway. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, very organized and blissful day. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Roses on the floor down there right in front of the color pencil collection right now. Let me show you a picture.